We have new details tonight on the contaminated oysters found in Biscayne Bay. The oysters had industrial chemicals in them from landfills and even cosmetics. FIU scientists who discover the problem are concerned and so are regular people. Are we eating contaminated seafood caught locally? CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola is live in Miami with that story. Hi there, good evening. Well, just like you said, those, those oysters were contaminated because they were in polluted water, but rest assured, those are not the same oysters you'll be seeing on your plate. Nice deep cup that'll hold the liquor of your oysters. For biologist Nicolette Marino, she's got a knack for anything shellfish. We've been averaging about one to 3,000 oysters a week. She's the owner of Treasure Coast Shellfish, one of the only three oyster farms on the west coast of Florida, and explains that seafood is extremely regulated by the state. She showed me the massive list of rules and logs she has to keep record of every day. Refrigeration requirements, the Florida Department of Agriculture website, you can look up this nifty list. FIU came out with a report saying they found 30 different PFA chemicals in oysters tested in Biscayne Bay, Tampa Bay, and Marco Island. PFAs are chemicals mostly found in nonstick cookware, clothes, and even firefighter foam. So if you want to look where your oysters were picked. You asked for that harvest tag or that processing tag and who you're buying them from. Again, whether it's a restaurant or fish market, if they cannot provide that, I'd recommend not buying that. So let's say you called the restaurant and got that harvest tag. You can go to the FWC website under oysters and clams, choose your region, and there's your list that'll tell you if those shells were picked in a safe location. There's a lot of different regulations and a lot of stuff we have to do on the farmer's end in the processing end to ensure that the product is safe for the consumer. Coincidentally, Miami-Dade County may also be cracking down on keeping the water clean. Commissioners are set to speak Thursday on possibly raising fines for those who pollute the water. Now in terms to those contaminated oysters, like I said, they're contaminated because they're in polluted water and because of that, those areas are off limits for fishermen. And on top of that, I spoke to many restaurants here in South Florida and they tell me they don't even serve Florida oysters. Live in Miami, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News Tonight.